Right. So we start all the way from identification products, uh, which are primarily smart car driving license RCs and HSRPs, which form really the bedrock of all the intelligent transport management solutions like uh, automatic chalaning and automa automated number plate recognition systems. Then we also do other compliance services to make the road safer, like uh, taking automated driving test tracks, uh, basically uh, less manpower intensive or uh, manual, you know, less manual intervention uh, in taking the driving license test as a whole, as well as an automated uh, vehicle fitness test, which, uh, which is a better way to take the uh, efficacy and the efficiency of a vehicle. Uh, and lastly, we also do uh, uh, these vehicle recycling, which helps in the sustainability movement uh, and is, uh, uh, we play a part in the government's and Siam's uh, journey to sustainable uh, automotives. So our client base includes everybody under the sun, which is in the uh, which is a stakeholder in the automotive industry, right? From the central government, the state governments, the OEMs, the automotive dealerships, the workshops, the non-OEM workshops, and the vehicle owner at large as well. So different products are you know targeted towards different uh, client base. We are working in different models. We are working in a tender model. We are working in a direct B two C model. So. Our range of products is catering to all the customers across the spectrum of the automotive journey. So from what we have noticed in the last couple of years is that the retrofitment of old vehicles with the HSRP has taken priority in different states. And recently Karnataka has come up with the retrofitment policy for HSRPs. The reason they are doing that is to increase the HSRP penetration in their old vehicle base as well, because this will be the bedrock for all intelligent traffic management solutions, all e-chalan solutions. This will improve road safety. This will improve the chalan system. They will be able to get online chalan. They will be able to garner more uh, revenues also for the state government. So one of the bigger things is the HSRP retrofitment theme that is going on. The second theme that is going on, which is the vehicle scrappage policy. So because of the sustainability push that has been going on, which is the theme of the Siam convention today as well, um, the vehicle scrappage policy is being pushed very strongly by the state governments, by the OEMs, by the pollution control boards. So that is one theme that we are seeing very strongly. We've already put up a pilot facility in Manisar, which is the largest RVSA, which is the registered vehicle scrapping facility in Haryana. And we are going to be putting many more such centers across India in the coming future. Right. So, uh, like you rightly said, uh, transport being a concurrent subject, uh, execution takes its uh, time and it's very peculiar to the state. Um, I feel uh, Northeast has been usually behind. Uh, however, we are strong where all the execution starts uh, in the larger states, uh, such as Maharashtra, Karnataka, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh. And then uh, goes down to states like Haryana, Rajasthan, and to the smaller ones uh, subsequently. You can see that in all uh, different uh, uh, themes of that are released by the government, uh, such as HSRP, automatic chalaning, as well as uh, vehicle traffic, uh, vehicle uh, tracking systems for passenger vehicles, which is a very large um, uh, mandate taken by the under the leadership of uh, Sri Gadkari ji for passenger safety. Um, in public service vehicles and that also is taking its own time uh, going from larger states to start with and on to the smaller states. Uh, our focus is primarily on execution and uh, new products that we can get. So whatever products that we are getting, we want to ensure that the quality and the execution is right. That is our number one thing and how we can improve road safety and sustainability with our products. So we want to be a purpose-driven organization and any product or service that we get out is either helping the public at large. That is what we focus on. So, I mean, we are ahead of the uh, technological curve in all of these segments, uh, be it automated driving test tracks or automated testing stations for commercial fitness, vehicle fitness, uh, be it uh, vehicle uh, location tracking devices and so on. Uh, so, as you see, the um, automated driving test tracks, for example, help the driver safety and the others uh, driving on the road as a whole, which we feel 
along with the automated testing stations will really pick up in the uh, in lot more states and we're getting a lot of interest where a lot of other state governments come visit the already executed uh, uh, centers to see how to formulate their own schemes in their states so we have a very different uh, very diverse product mix uh, you actually named all the different models that we work on it is uh, some are uh, already on boot model where we have we are paid for a capex and a fixed topex some are on subscription models like connectivity solutions some are outright sales so we have we have all the models and uh, we as a group uh, have been growing over 30% year on year and uh, look to maintain that over the next five years um in terms of raw material i think we are very good suppliers we are very lucky to have large suppliers like indalco every denison and uh, multi billion dollar mnc that we are uh, purchasing from and uh, in terms of any vertical integration opportunities that we are seeing we've already done one of them we are on in course in process of doing that in the uh, smart card industry and we are looking at other vertically integrated opportunities in other products of ours as well right so we have our mobile first app uh, it's called my rasta where we do servicing as well as uh, at doorstep servicing uh, as well as repairs along with a lot of uh, other value added services for uh, fleet operators for drivers um, and it it actually helps both sides right it's the independent aftermarket garages which also are able to get uh, revenue they otherwise would not and the driver would actually get their work done at a much more uh, subsidized cost as compared to an oem workshop so we are live in uh, more than 10 cities as of now and we are looking forward to really uh, aggressively grow that segment as well uh, i think rosmata is aligned with the government's vision and cm's vision at large and from what we have learned in this conference also that growth and sustainability have to go hand in hand in the coming future and that is what rosmata is planning to do as well So in the next three years, in if we talk about different product lines in recycling, we want to set up ten more centers, large centers, integrated recycling centers across the country. In terms of HSRP, we want to convert all the retrofitment that is pending for a long time, and I think we can, if uh, given the right push by the state government, that can be achieved in the next three to four years. We have ample capacity already to cater to that with the existing uh, facilities that we have right now. so i think in terms of recycling and hsrp these are the short term and to medium term goals that we have right